Hi, I'm Nancy Newquist, and this is Right Sizing. I live in one of the most beautiful places on earth, Santa Barbara. Here, you'll find amazing people, fascinating culture, and history. For years, I have helped my clients right size their lives through real estate, organization, and learning what matters most to them. Join me each week as we explore the world of Right Sizing with Nancy. On this episode of Right Sizing, Nancy is in beautiful downtown Santa Barbara at the Reagan Ranch Center. This museum is dedicated to preserving the legacy of President Ronald Reagan's Santa Barbara Ranch, famously known as the Western White House. Nancy has a very special connection to the ranch's retired chef, Mitzi, and is excited to be with her to learn more about her time with President and Mrs. Reagan. Well, hello, Mitzi. I'm honored to sit here with you today. And we're at the Reagan Center. We're going to be talking about your life with Ronald Reagan, the President of the United States, when you worked for him. But first, I'd like to talk about how you got to the United States. Can you tell me about that? Arranged marriage. From an arranged marriage? Yes. And how did it come about? Well, I think my parents want to marry this man <laughs> oh, he, to be you know nice family and a nice but uh, yeah so your parents arranged the yes everything so I have to obey and you had to obey yes and so you moved to the United States yes. and you did marry this man yes and you I guess you were in Hawaii first yes Honolulu he was in the military military yes and so you were a did military I, wife so you traveled yes. oh yes Many, many places. Many places? Yes. And I know that the marriage ended. Yes. And then you were, you said you were looking at a magazine? And, yes. And that's how you decided to move to Santa Barbara? Yes. Just a fascinating city, mm-hmm. small. Mm-hmm. But, and then I don't like a big city. Okay. And uh, so... And uh, what year was this? It was 1970. And then uh, I have to find a job, mm-hmm. so what? I found a f- job at the Ellen Canto Hotel. Okay, I was a waitress. Right. Yeah. From that was so early in the morning to late night. I have to work, so I changed it to a Japanese restaurant. And you were working there as a waitress. Yes. And a lady c- would come in often. And yes. her name was? Shirley Pierce Hoover Connor. <laughs> Shirley Pierce Hoover Connor? Yes. Okay, and Shirley was a relative of? President Hoover's. President Hoover. Yes. So, uh, so you waited on Shirley often, I heard. Yes. And yes. from after waiting on Shirley, she asked you a question. To come up to see my what I live, and I would like to take care of my husband okay and uh, then she asked me you know how to cook so I said I know how to cook Japanese food right <laughs> and and if she likes so much Japanese food that's mm-hmm. when I started so you quit your job at the restaurant yes and you moved up to to the ranch to the ranch yeah. and what was the name of the ranch uh, view of the world how long did you live with Shirley? 16 years. 16 years. Yes. Okay, and Shirley brought you into a new world, correct? Yes. Oh, my life is completely changed. It's uh, fantastic. And, Wonderful. And how did she change your life? Well, number one, she doesn't like to go out to eat, mm-hmm. so she liked to I cook. Okay. And not just the old Japanese food. Mm-hmm. So she and I... She sent me to uh, Cordon Bleu School in France. And then she was friends with the Reagans. Yes, and very I, much. Very much. Yeah. How did you come to receive the offer to work with the Reagans? Uh, after my, uh, my lady passed away, mm-hmm. then I did everything for Mr. Reagan. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But, but during when Shirley was still alive, you went between... 
yes. her Did, ranch mm -hmm. and the Reagan ranch. Yes. And when the Reagans were in town, you yes. went to help them. Yes. When you were hired, you said under only one condition. What was that condition? Well, well <laughs> I have pets. Mm -hmm. German Shepherd. A German Shepherd. And then two birds. Big birds? Yes. Uh, African Grey. African Grey. And, and a par uh, parrot. parrot. And a parrot. Mm -hmm. And that was the condition that yes. your animals... Yes. If I can't take this, my pet with me, then I can take this job. But, you know, after I say that, I say, oh, my goodness, what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and but, uh, but then they accept me. They accepted you. And so, so you took the job, and your animals went with you yes. every time you went to... Yes. And live then, at the ranch, the animals, and did the birds live in oh, the house? Yes. And in then, your bedroom, right? No, in the living room. The birds lived in the living room? Yes. And then Mr. Reagan teach Yankee Doodle. Yank oh, fun. Yes. And fun. <laughs> what was your German Shepherd's name? Shachi. And I understand that Mr. Reagan loved your dog. Yes, very much, mm -hmm. yes. And wanted it to stay there more longer? Yes, yes. But that was your dog. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and so it went back and forth with yes. you. Mitzi, I understand that what you're wearing today was a gift. And can you tell me about those? This sweater mm -hmm. belonged to Mrs. Reagan. That was Mrs. Reagan's sweater? Yes. Well, it's yes. beautiful. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. And then, do you want to tell me about your pin? This is a Mr. Reagan gave it to me his, his favorite horse. His favorite. That's why he told me. That's what he told yeah. you. And he, uh, you said he gave it to you for Valentine's Day? I, yes, I think Valentine's Day was, for a little gift. That's what he gave it to me. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yes. And you ha also have Ronald Reagan's book here. Yes. And he inscribed this to you. And it says, Dear Mitzi, with uh, appreciation and very best wishes, Ronald Reagan. And that was in 1991. Yes. He gave this to you. Yes. Well, that's a wonderful gift. Yes. Let's head up to the ranch, and then you can show us more memories uh, of your life with the Reagans. Thank you so much. I love it. You <laughs> love it. Okay. Stay tuned. Right Sizing will be right back. In the hills above Santa Barbara is Rancho del Cielo. Here, Ronald and Nancy Reagan enjoyed time away from the White House, held special events, and entertained prominent figures from around the world. Well, Mitzi, here we are up at the ranch, and it was quite a drive on the way up here. What was it like for you for the first time? Very exciting. <laughs> very exciting? <laughs> yes. And I know you brought your animals up with you the very first time. Yes. And every time. Yes. Yes. And so what car did you have to put the animals in? A Honda Accord. Did you have the birds in the in a cage? Of course. Okay. Yes. And then you drove up. Yes. And when you got here, um, let's say before the Reagans arrived, what would you do? Not lots of things, but... Uh, You'd get the house set up? Because I had the room that only have is a two fireplace, oh. no heating system. So you came up yeah. and yes. and prepared the house yes. before yes. they showed up. Takes a long time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for that because it's adobe, no yes. adobe house. Yes. So while you're warming up the house before they show up, you've got let's say they contact you to come here. Yes. How did they contact you and who contacted you? Uh, Reagan's office uh, they, write me a letter. They would write you a letter? Yes. I think that's fascinating. <laughs> um, no telephone call? No phone call. Okay. And what would they say in the letter? Is um, they're going to come on a certain day mm -hmm. until this day, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And make sure uh, breakfast and lunch and dinner menu. I like to you make and listen to me. So they asked you for the menus yes. for every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You would write it out or type it out? No writing. Write it out. Yes. And then you had to mail it back yes. to the White House. Yes. And they had to, Nancy had to approve it. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. yes. And once Nancy approved it, then you knew what the menu would be. Yes. 
And you told me that Nancy never changed the menu for you. No, never. Never? Not even once. Not even once. That's, that's fantastic. But I find it really interesting is you never went to Vaughn's grocery store. No. How did you get all the food for Everything the Reagan? Everything is natural. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I had to go drive all the way to Camarillo, mm -hmm. and then they have a wonderful um, farmer there. It was an organic yeah. farm, yes, wasn't it? Japanese, yeah. Japanese farmer. organic farmer? That's why I buy everything there. Okay. Yes. And then you talked about um, also getting meat close by. Yes. I had to go to Winchester Canyon. Winchester Canyon? Yes. And then they grow everything Organic. An organic, yes. uh, okay. So the beef was organic, yes. and then all the vegetables were organic? Eggs. Everything. And eggs? Well, Mitzi, when you first got up here, your very first time, you came three days early, yes. and you would walk the property, yes. and there was no issue. And then one day, something happened. What happened? Mr. and Mrs. Reagan was already here in the street because I was walking at 4.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. and I had to take my dog out for... For walk. a walk, yeah. And you'd done this before, so it yes, seemed like yeah, a... Yeah, first day, yes, I did. Second day, I did. And third day, I did. Fourth day, wow. Something well, happened. And then what happened? <laughs> well, and this was early in the morning, right? Yes. And um, I, I, I think, I think four people, mm -hmm. gentlemen, and then pointed gun on me. Oh. Yes, because they didn't know I was here. Right. <laughs> so. Oh, they didn't know you were here with the Reagans. Yes. And at 4.30 in the morning, yes. what the heck are you doing? Right here. Right here, right here. huh? <laughs> in this location. <laughs> that would be scary. Very much Especially so. Especially if you didn't, you've and never done anything no, like this before. No. Yeah. And then um, I had the permission to walk every morning, 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock, but I never did it no, because I was once so was enough. Huh? Yes. So when you lived up here at the ranch, your window was right there. Yes, that's my bedroom. That was your bedroom. Yes. Okay, well, we'll go in and see your yes. bedroom, won't we? Yes. And then what's your most memorable thought of Ronald Reagan at the ranch here? Is there anything that you think? Oh, very, very impressed is uh, when... Um, when he talked to the horse, you know, before he leave ranch, mm -hmm. he go back to uh, the, Los the Angeles. Yeah. He talked to the horse, thank you so much. And I had a wonderful ride. And then, uh, you know, just uh, because I'm crazy about animals. Right. And that really touched my heart. That's I wonderful. Really never forget it. You'll never. never forget that? Yeah. Well, that's, and that's I also really thank you to me and then my dog mm -hmm. <laughs> and then my... And your birds. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and so we're going to go inside and we're going to see where you cooked yes. and where you lived. All right. Welcome back to Right Sizing. Nancy and her dear friend Mitzi are currently touring the historic Reagan Ranch, where Mitzi cooked for President and Mrs. Reagan during and after his presidency. Let's learn more about Mitzi's time at the ranch. We're in the kitchen of the Reagan Ranch. Can you tell me what memories this brings back to you? I have, I have so many memories here, yes. Of course, I did something outstanding. Sometimes I did boo boo, mistake, <laughs> drop, you know, and I have a wonderful, wonderful memory. Yeah, that's I a cook good everything here. You cook everything yes. here. Yes. And even on an electric stove. Huh? Yes. Fantastic. And what was Ronald's favorite meal? I follow uh, maybe 50% is uh, Mr. Reagan's mother's uh, recipe. His mother's recipe? Yes, very simple mm -hmm. and delicious. Okay, and what <laughs> was that, though? Oh, number one, is he likes the corned beef. Oh, corned beef, <laughs> corn okay. Beef and cabbage. <laughs> and not just on St. Patrick's Day, huh? No, 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 no. Okay. That's, he likes so much. And then about Mrs. Reagan is, uh, you know, tell me 
Take it easy. Take it too easy. Too salty. <laughs> oh, too salty. Yes. Okay. Did she guide you a lot on his meals? Something salty things. On salty yes. things? Yes. And then sweet things. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, what did Mrs. Reagan like to eat? What was her favorite meal? She's not too picky. No? Yeah, but she only, she doesn't eat a lot. She eats she so doesn't. little. Yeah. But uh, yes, everything uh, Mr. Reagan eat, and then she eats too. Yes. Yeah, and I heard that you did a little change of uh, her, his dessert one time. Yes, um, because when I start the work, um, maybe not even three months later, mm -hmm. Mrs. Reagan said, um, "Mr. Reagan gained seven pounds oh. after you start the work because." Uh, I don't want to say because Mr. Reagan like a hagen does ice cream. Mm -hmm. He liked to eat that. Uh -huh. So then uh, I change the uh, menu. And then I use hagen does container, uh -huh. but I make tofu ice cream. And then he didn't know, and then he just crazy about. He thought that was yes. To, he thought it was yeah. Hagen Dazs. Yes, uh -huh. yes. And he had continue. no idea. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, that's why I did it. And who were some of the famous people you cooked for, Mitzi? I don't know. They, they don't uh, uh, introduce me, mm. so I don't know the, who I was cooking. Uh, Only I know is a uh, first name. Oh, okay. So many important people. Okay. I don't know. You did meet the Gorbachevs yes, one I time, did. and you yeah. knew that was them. Yes. Right. <laughs> and did you see the Queen, too? Yes, I did. Did you cook for the Queen? No, I no. didn't. No, she yes. just came up. Yes. Okay. I just made for just a little dessert, that's it. Good memory. Yeah, and, and, and this is good memories, yes. isn't it? Yes. All the little goodies. And, and I, guess I use a telephone book. Mm-hmm. The stand and when I cut in because this is too I'm short. You're missing. short, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the telephone books work good, don't yes. they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mitzi, let's walk into the main room right. and we can talk some more. All right. When we come back, Mitzi will discuss fond memories of the president and how, in later years, she and Nancy Newquest came together at a difficult time to forge a wonderful friendship. Mitzi, we're in the living room now of the Reagan Ranch, and what an amazing little piece of history here. And did you notice the president seal behind us? And it's made out of nails that was given to President Reagan hmm. when he was here. Can you share any memories with us, um, with you and the Reagans? Mm. Little game. You would play games? Yes. And what game would you play? I don't know what they call that game. <laughs> <laughs> but good for the mind. It was good for the mind yes. game. Well, while you were here working with the Reagans, did you ever serve cocktails Never. for them? Never. Never. They didn't drink? No. Or did they have friends that would come up for a glass of wine? or No. No? No. no just not interested? No. Well, that's good. You just, have a clear just head. Just Mrs. Reagan and Mr. Reagan. That's who? like to watch wonderful television. Oh, they did. Yes, but you didn't watch television, no. and so you would. What would you do in your spare time while you were going in my room mm -hmm. and play puzzle? You play with a puzzle. That would <laughs> or be play with a rhino. <laughs> or play with rhino, your yeah. bird. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, you told me that Shirley Hoover and President Reagan both said something very special to you. Can you tell me what that was? This is an opportunity country. If you know how to use it, then you can have a job. But if you don't, then you have to look for some other job. And, and you felt so right like then. It. Oh, yes. That what an opportunity yes, you had. Yes, yes, exactly. With both Shirley yes. and President Reagan. Yes. That's very wonderful. Yes. What a, what a great thing to say. <laughs> Mitzi, was it emotional leaving the ranch? And why did, why did everybody go? Well, uh, it, it, you know, um, when um, Mr. Ray and I talked sometime in the uh, dining table mm -hmm. when you're playing the, the game, mm -hmm. and then uh, he, he said to me was uh, very 
when uh, I lived in Japan and a teenager, mm -hmm. and then my parents always say, uh, don't think about tomorrow, mm -hmm. just think about today, just mm -hmm. 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow not even exist. Mm. So if you live that way for your life, mm -hmm. it's much simple mm -hmm. because not much problem. Mm -hmm. President said something like that too. That's why I said to myself, wow, just like my parents. Mm -hmm. you know? Interesting. Yeah. Don't think about tomorrow. Think. Just think about today. Just live today. Be positive mm -hmm. and be strong. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel to be back here after all these years? One wonderful feeling. Yeah. Yes. It was good times, yes. wasn't it? Fantastic, wonderful memories. And Mitzi, after you left the ranch here and you went to Santa Barbara, what did you do then? How did you live? I was looking for a job, but mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty old, so sometimes I cannot even have a job because they like to see that my personal history. Mm -hmm. You're too old, you know. But they didn't. They weren't impressed that you were working for the Reagans. Don't make any difference. Oh wow! Well, then you got married. Yes. To Paul Roberts. Yes. And you moved. You sailed, and then you moved also to Oxnard, right? Yes. And uh, you had a nice life with Paul. Yes, I did. Yeah, yes. he was a wonderful husband too. Yes. And he loved your dogs and your birds. Oh boy! And yes. Mitzi, he loved everything. <laughs> yes. And he loved Japanese food. Very, very much. Very yes. much. That's good. <laughs> and with your time with Paul, uh, he bought a mobile home in Oxnard Shores. Yes. And then he passed away. Yes. And you didn't have a lot of money left yes. after that. Yes. And so how did you and I come to meet? Well, I have a girlfriend, fantastic girlfriend, working in a bank. Mm -hmm. She introduced me, wonderful friend. You. Mm -hmm. not, not even 24 hour. Not even one day, half a day, I think, sold my place. Right. Can you believe? That was hard. <laughs> that, was, that was quite amazing Incredible. how that all put you together. You helped me so much. So, yeah, we had, um, we had to put your, your home up for sale, and Bonnie helped me because yeah. well, she lived close by, and so she helped me. Yes. And uh, she um, would be there, and I would be there, and we'd help with the open house, and we had one buyer come the first day, and he paid cash for it. He let you stay uh, 15 oh, days yeah. after so that we could move her out, and, um, and we had an estate sale. Yes. We had uh, someone come and buy some of your antiques, and we had to right-size for you, and that's what the show is all about, mm -hmm. how we got from Mitzi's needing to sell her home to selling everything and moving to Santa Barbara. And now you live in a beautiful little studio yes. on my brother's property, yes. Dana's. Yes. <laughs> and now, now you're part of the family, I, aren't you? <laughs> I don't have a word to say. It I fell really into mean, place so just, well, uh, didn't it? Just fantastic. You know, my life is uh, just, just uh, amazed, really. Right. And um, I don't know how to... I don't have, really, I don't have words, what kind of word I said to them, you know? Mm -hmm. well, Just to say thank you? No, I have to do something. Well, you cook. <laughs> <laughs> I know no, you I'm cook. not that good cook. I know like you cook I used a lot. To, I used to do a good job, yeah. but now going down. <laughs> well, whenever you go to see Mitzi, she will bless you with some amazing food. And every time I stop by to say hello, she gives me a bag of ravioli <laughs> and a box of tomato sauce. <laughs> and it was Ronald Reagan's sauce that he yeah. loved. And, and that's what I get every time I see Mitzi. That's my blessing. Nancy, mm. I, I want to say, only I can say it is, uh, I met you. Yes. My life changed, you know, to be just... Uh, Outstanding, not just the good, just outstanding. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> because you did. <laughs> but anyway, I thank you so much. You know, yeah. people like you, fantastic. 
Well, make it the was, world beautiful. Yeah, well, it was an honor helping you. It was truly fun. It was exciting. Yeah, and it, it, was, it was wonderful to see you get out of what you needed to get out of and into the life that you needed. But I really, I really, I really without you, I don't know what I did. You know? uh, yeah, well, yeah. I'm glad we helped each other, Mitzi. <laughs> thank Mitzi. you so much. Oh, sure, Mitzi, thank you. anytime. I really mean it. As oh, long I as I live, <laughs> I won't forget you. Oh, good. Yes. Mitzi, that is what right sizing is all about. And I'm so glad I could help you. And thank I would help you, you anytime. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, anytime. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Right Sizing. Be sure to join Nancy next time for another exciting episode. Mm-hmm.